Alright, Aloha. So they have to label it and catalog it as whatever, whatever is comfortable for them. Same way people categorize flat earth as crazy or weird because they just don't know how to not believe NASA and the whole, that, that whole scientific connection to a connection to science is basically a connection to God the the God of reality is science like the God of that's what they call reality the the, the world of reality <clears throat> the God is science and they have taken that idol and have worked it to where it represents individuals and it represents basically like a religion so a religion of scientism believers believe themselves into a realm that has nothing to do with the like the depths of real a, a, a deeper reality just from going from the globe model to uh, a not globe model, just a not, just period, not even talking about flat earth, just a not globe experience is enough to open up a mind very similar or an, even beyond a mind, an individual to an ex experience very similar to what a psychedelic experience would do. So Terrence McKenna just represents a thought. He, he represents a, a, a connection with something that has already been thought out and experienced and written down for centuries upon centuries by our ancestors. So when somebody asks, what do I think about Terrence McKenna? He seems like a cool guy. I mean, but his teachings, just like every other so-called white person that has come about in the new age... Uh, are just a rehash of information that has already been you know polished to the umpteenth degree by people hundreds and thousands of years ago and that's why I said like in these other videos it's not so much about like somebody asked also about uh, is Course of Miracles the book of uh, the series of Course in Miracles is that new age too and then it's kind of like does it really matter if it's 100% whatever? Like, does it matter if um, A Course in Miracles is 100% made up by the New Age agenda? Does it matter if it has the same effect on people as if it didn't, if it wasn't made up? No, it doesn't matter. So that's the whole thing with everything. It doesn't matter to them either. As long as it's effective, this is the thing, effectiveness is what matters. A Course in Miracles is very effective for the New Age agenda, so the New Age pushers will definitely use A Course in Miracles to push their agenda. Same thing goes for an individual like Terrence McKenna. Is Terrence McKenna beneficial to the New Age agenda? agenda? You bet your ass he, he is. Um, so they will push him because he's a very he's a very specific he has a very specific approach to what's going on uh, in these and, and he doesn't venture off anywhere else. So that's that's the whole point to have a, a, a beneficial subject matter to the agenda and not, not anything else and also having the um i'm not going to talk about anything else approach to reality i'm only about this it's only about that so as long as it's only about that then you will be trapped in the same kind of trap that they are trapped in which is oh well this is not connected to this oh we can only talk about this without talking about that and that's the thing with so-called white people who talk about ancestral information 
um, is that they can compartmentalize it to where it's it's okay to do that, but for them, for their agenda. But when you're talking about all the shit that you want to get into, it's not okay. Because they're uncomfortable with that. They're not comfortable with that. So the masses of people who follow them cannot be comfortable with that either. And when the, the these individuals who push that kind of subconscious thought process are promoted out there, they are even more so a part of the New Age agenda because they are a part of the compartmentalizing of the mind um, that allows the this this intelligence this secret intelligence because we name it the illuminati the cabal and all this other stuff but really it's a it's a in your face secretive intelligence that is in and in and around within and around every single part of this reality it's that's the only way it can survive is if it parasites into the process of reality itself so this is why i was talking about um dolores cannon in particular because in about four years ago um it was probably like it was longer than that when i discovered dolores cannon um and just started researching what she was talking about and she was basically putting through people through hypnosis and she was going through a whole um deeper part of hypnosis than people usually go into and what I was saying is that, like, what the fuck is hypnosis? Like, she's going into the catalog of what we're calling the human experience. And then that's when I was like, well, what is the human experience? And, and then I took it a step even further. I was like, all right, well, the New Age very definitely tells you what the human experience is. It tells you, like, oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about um the humanity of this and the inhumanity of that but they don't really go into what humanity is because humanity in the new age perspective is just based upon their reading the history books of humanity or the encyclopedia called humanity and saying oh that's what humanity is reading the encyclopedia britannica the humanity <laughs> humanitarian britannica encyclopedia um that is what humanity is and that's bullshit that's just what the 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 thought pra the thought process of conscious manipulation wants you to think humanity is about so the 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 overall process can be stifled and manipulated ultimately and where i was saying going to the extreme people like especially dolores cannon need to be seen with a fine tooth comb um because for one reason why I stopped looking into her stuff or listening anymore is because it, it was just repetitive. And this is how I explained it um, before is that you have you have um, the channelers who basically say all the same stuff. They say this, this and th th there's like these many channelers on one hand like for like uh so okay so this is a good way you have channelers who break down like the information new age information that's like three out of five and then you have like people who go into the psychedelics uh which which is one finger on the hand and then you have people who go like dolores cannon and there's probably other people who go into like the hypnosis state so that's like the five the five principles of new age um teachers or whatever uh, it, it, you can tie in um or or fit one of the fingers in there with the uh what are those people like uh, Carlos Castaneda and then people go into the indigenous communities and then they only talk about like interpreting they they're interpreting indigenous information so you can have that instead of the channelers you got indigenous interpreters of information and stuff like that so this is how it's all compartmentalized and then you have this almighty hand of knowledge that is the new age um fist of you know whatever um the new age fist of fury that's going to you know fight you know pu push love through the whole universe and 
and beat the shit out of fear and um i don't know whatever else but <clears throat> anyway so you have the the channeling the indigenous interpreters the um the hypnosis individuals in the psychedelic p people and then the just love love and light hippie sort of thing so that so that whole world so you have all of that existing and they're so centered in the idea of love that you it's it's unquestionable you can't question its you can't question its involvement in anything that could possibly be malevolent so that's why i was like well when i was in that community i felt a whole bunch of like very parasitic and malevolent tendencies coming from that community and some very like push away and disease ridden sort of mentalities that were not very you know good for um true spiritual growth and i was like i'm getting the hell out of here and i need to analyze this so other people don't fall into this trap and i never really said too much about people like dolores cannon specifically because i think i did in one video but um I was just sharing my perspective, like my the beginnings of how I feel right now. Whereas right now, I've had some years have passed to where I'm just like, all right, now I got a real good understanding. Of I mean, she's passed already. She passed like two, two or three years ago. Um, but her teachings are still out there as um, a, a reference point. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about as far as the reference point that is this Dolores Cannon deep hypnosis in the new age thought process agenda. So what I was explaining, how I was saying is that the the hypnosis space that Dolores Cannon takes people to, for people who don't know, what Dolores Cannon is known for is taking people to this deep hypnosis space. And when she's in there, she 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 has realized that she has found a bunch of reoccurring themes when she puts people into this deep hypnosis state. And people start talking about this um, past lives and all kinds of stuff. And, and the theme is like, oh... Some of these individuals are uh, connected to like alien store stuff or all kinds of stuff. But anyway, her main theme, and I, I, I think I'll, I'll try to remember what video her main her main theme is just like the New Age agenda. It's like all about love and everything is uh, connected. Once humanity realizes that everything is love, then because this is another, I, I was just watching recently her video. I was just watching recently her video about, um, similar to Eckhart Tolle's the, the Divine Purpose of the Universe. She had something similar to that. And they said the same thing. It's all about love this and love that. And then once you love everything, everything will be okay. And what I've been saying for the last however many years um, is that the New Age community is doing that and to go into even more of a sinister uh, interpretation of how they're getting there is with all of that hand that I was talking about, the frequencies that are coming through, the interpreters, the channelers, the psychedelic, you know, jesters and, you know, the people who are going into that psychedelic experience and then the, the hypnosis people. And, you know, and the list goes on and on and on, tracing it all back to love. And ask yourself, is it possible? See, because what I'm saying is that they're not they're not tapping into anything that is unhackable. Uh, and not only that, they're not tapping into anything that is um, new. So when they're telling you it's new and telling you it's fresh, we're awakening and enlightening, they're developing this artificial version of something that is already 50% of your maximum potential anyway. So if they're telling, if they're focusing all of your spiritual energy on awakening, well, 
awakening is only at best 50 percent of your experience because you are also in the death experience like it just takes however long your life is we call it the death experience because you know it's been dramatized and romanticized in this whole thing and that goes into the whole idea of romanticizing this experience from realizing like what is it what is going on here is everything about like reproduction is everything about love like what what is this thing that this experience is about it's a hell of a lot more complex than um you know the american dream of th this is really what it's being it's 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 held up against they're, they're they're holding the american dream as an evolutionary peak next to the priests of machu picchu next to the the uh, the spiritual um hierarchies of uh africa and asia and all this other stuff that's really what it, when you really investigate the uh the intention of these time frames of these communities you'll you'll see that that's really what's what's going on here people believe this when they're walking around they believe that they are the pinnacle of something uh, these buildings, these new buildings, all this fresh, everything is fresh now that uh, that's that's something to be proud of. And what the society has deemed pride, uh, pride worthy uh, dictates what uh, the people live for, what they love for, what they look for. So the New Age community is out there to be your definer to be the di dictionary of your reality that's what the new age the new age community is out there to be the dictionary for your polar shifting reality shifting from fear to love that's how simple they want it to be uh, in order to control it because if they say that this has already been done before, then it takes their power away. It takes their newness away. They're no longer new, so their whole community crashes. So they have to focus their energy on the people who are new. Terrence McKenna is new. Dolores Cannon is new. Greg Brandon is new. Michael Tessarion is new. David Icke is new. Stephen Greer is new. David Wilcock is new. Bashar is new. Cryon is new. Um... Yeah, the list goes on and on and on of all these new people out here. They have to promote them in this new idea the same way they have to promote celebrities in the Hollywood idea. So the more you promote new people, the more you promote your new uh, consciousness. And the new consciousness is not new in any way, shape, or form. It's, in fact, very... Uh, it's a plastic version of the old. It's not even an introduction to the old it's a plastic version of the old so <clears throat> that's why it's dangerous that's why i'm saying it's dangerous so to close this out real quick time man okay dolores cannon and terrence mckenna so i pretty much already explained terrence mckenna's position he's not any more you know uh worthy of paying attention to any shaman out of you know peru any other basic regular ass shaman in peru or anywhere else uh terrence mckenna got all that his shit from them so you know all he has done has is has uh started to interpret you know that world for western minds so that's what terrence mckenna represents in the world and that's why he's such a big deal is because uh what what's important to society is big deals uh it's not the information of the big deal it's just a, a, a what's made a big deal so psychedelics are being made as a big deal right now and who's the main white person who speaks about psychedelics the mckenna brothers terrence mckenna in particular uh, so that's why he's been publicized. Why, they, and why the hell aren't they talking about, you know, any regular shaman who explains psychedelics? No, it has to be somebody who represents a new thought process. 
a, a new body, which is the, the evolved human, they're saying, is the white person who created technology. And in this, because this is this is very crucial to this storyline, because when you say the white person who evolved from monkeys who created technology and then they have the new age storyline of saying that we are the original timeline, we're actually the past, we're the old timeline. They are saying that they are the highest, they are the gods of the future aliens and extraterrestrials, which are the the. Um, Essasani, which with Bashar and all these other alien Pleiadians, since we are in the past, that's what they're saying. Time, how time fits into this whole thing. We are the past lives of future aliens, and the proof of that is because future aliens have high technology in the future timelines, like defined by channelers. Channeler and information has said this, and. Who has made technology in society today, which is the past timeline of the future timeline? It it was the white people who made technology of today, which set off the future timelines uh, for uh, future aliens, and and so that's that's how they're ins inserting themselves as the god kings of humanity when they haven't even defined or understood what humanity or this realm is they just you know elvis or you know elvis them themselves into society as the kings of consciousness just like elvis was ushered into society as the king in rock and roll he fucking stole everything so that's what terence mckenna represents dolores cannon is basically the same thing um but she just goes she just comes from the um hypnosis perspective instead of psychedelics and the psychedelics are um uh, or the hypnosis the hypnosis is another thing that's beneficial to the new age agenda because it seems very real for people because it's 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 just regular people in a hypnosis state and people don't know what hypnosis is they don't know what humanity is they don't know what the brain is so anything that is coming out of somebody from a hypnosis state automatically has like a belief like it's real like you got to believe that shit it's because um the way they interpret it because it's new i'm not saying don't listen to it what i'm saying is that um see what's being said but also interpret this shit for yourself like from my interpretation of what dolores cannon is doing it's not tapping into a, a frequency of everlasting love and everything is about love and we should just think about love uh and we've you know had these people who are doing fucked up shit but we're all love like that's basically what she's saying is it possible what i'm saying is that is it possible that um Instead of tapping into some like whatever it is uh, that she's tapping into, could she be tapping into a CNN version or a Fox News version of the frequencies that are being put out in uh, into our subconscious realms of society? Could she be tapping into that? And could that experience, that's what I'm saying, like, it, like it's a plastic version. And it's a, why I'm saying is that is because it's very beneficial for the, it's it's basically a subconscious version of what the television does. What does the television do? The television tells you to just be very quiet, be be very happy with um, the way things are in society, uh, but be aware up to a certain degree. That's the, and be be happy about it because things are changing, things are getting better, right? Because evolution, technology, and so on and so forth. The ultimate thing is to make you comfortable and happy and quiet and dormant um, with the way things are and the way things are moving along in the consciousness. So that's what the, the mainstream media, Hollywood, celebrityism, celebrities, all that, that's what it does. Could there be something like that that exists in the subconscious? That's what I'm saying it are these frequencies coming out of the channelers uh hypnosis states like dolores cannon 
it, do you think that the military has studied, uh, you know, what what Dolores Cannon has, is doing and what Terrence McKenna has researched and what these channelers have been doing? You know, they're already dealing with remote viewing and all this stuff. Do you not think that the military has already been studying this shit? You think Dolores Cannon is just her, stumbled her ass on that and she's the only one that's been doing this shit? See, that's the naivety of this whole new age world to where to think that to, since they're all stuck in love, they haven't realized and, and gave respect to the intelligence of the balances of this reality. Because they've romanticized love as this Superman, superhero of reality. It's not about that. It's not about turning this realm into a superhero. There's a whole bunch of more complex shit that's going on here. And since we have been trapped into this romanticizing of this reality, we don't know, you know, how to even think. That's the thing. We see things to think about, but we don't know how to think. And we, we're too busy talking about what to think about and what somebody else is thinking about. We don't know why we're thinking or how we're thinking. Those questions never get raised. So, uh, Dolores Cannon to be very direct about it, how I see it is that she is tapping into a something that is tappable for everybody um, if they were to go into that space on their own. Um, when you go into that space though it's kind of, it's very similar to dreams and interpreting dreams because it's it's always expanding. It's always changing. So in that realm, what happens is that uh, in order to process the realm, uh, you have to, like a dream, you have to hold on to certain parts of the dream, but that's not the dream. The dream is always changing. You're just using reference points. So in this subconscious space, this this uh, malevolent energy, wh however you want to call it, what I'm saying is that has set up this love world frequency in the subconscious realm and it's tapped into by channelers and people in psychedelics who go into psychedelics and they don't know how to interpret anything anyway and and the hypnosis state those three things um so dolores cannon she taps into that and she gets the same messages oh everything's about love and then terrence mckenna goes in there's like, oh everything is about love and you know all this other stuff he doesn't say only about love but you know the parts where he does and then joe rogan tells that story and then um the channelers do the same thing oh everything is about love abraham hicks cryon bashar they go into it there and then they say Everything is about this. And then since you hear this from this teacher and then you hear that from that teacher and all of those things are the same things, you get this idea that you have a grasp on the non-reality reality, which is this, this new age concept of reality. So now that that stream of consciousness is existing in more than one individual all around the world, now you have this identity that could be portrayed as truth or fact. And this is what I was saying uh, in a, in a stand-up thing, like um, uh, talking about how white people have basically invented facts, their own version of facts. That's basically what the mainstream media is. It's a... Uh, it's an exist it exists to feed itself against everything else that exists so that's why there is a mainstream media it's not just like oh yeah is there the main what is the mainstream media doing no why does it exist in the first place what are its origins so beyond that what is the mainstream media of the new age community well i'm saying it's this subconscious storyline that is this this love everything and and just be dormant just shut down um and don't pay attention like basically like the wizard of oz don't look at the man behind the curtain just talk about the storylines that you know all the flying monkeys are talking about joe rogan was his Ooh, ah, that whole thing it's a joke is they're throwing it in your face like you get it uh, following these these monkey minded you know gestures so, yeah, Dolores Cannon, how I see it, is tapping into um, 
the subconscious a deeper part of our subconscious which is everybody is connected to that or is an uh, is an expression of that she's tapping into that and then what happens is uh when you get in that space it's kind of like how you interpret a dream like how how do you interpret a dream well when you go into a dream you have that experience and then you wake up you explain that experience to somebody else and they help you interpret that dream well Basically, our non-physical reality dreams are being interpreted by people who don't even know how to speak the languages of dreams. And when we get trapped into experiencing uh, or, or interpreting our dreams from based upon the way people who don't know how to interpret dreams interpret dreams, then you actually shrink down and de-evolve the consciousness of the individual and over time the consciousness of the macro and that's basically what the western education system and even the new age community has been doing and is doing right now so literally um how how people are literally doing it is dolores cannon uh was taking people to the hypnosis state and my theory is she's going in there and yes, there is this space of um, love and all this other stuff, but there's this space of reality which is connected to a lot of real uh, breakdowns that are not being uh, shared by this new age community. So, what are the themes that are how it's really how what it really boils down to is what are the themes of the new age community, the new age agenda. Are the themes of the New Age agenda being expressed through the individuals? Yes. Is it being used uh, to affect the individuals? Yes. So does it matter? That's the whole point. Does it matter whether or not you know this person is knowledgeable of this or not? No, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you see the world that is being uh, put out there. And what it's doing, or how it exists, why it exists. So, the world that I see people like Terrence McKenna and Dolores Cannon existing in is a world that is uh, being willfully ignorant to the balances of this realm. And since they have experienced that, or, or um, discovered what they're calling discovered, discovering um, one side of reality, since we have been devoid of all sides of reality one side of reality is is attractive enough so people like Dolores Cannon and Terrence McKenna will attract people to one side of reality uh, which is this Western interpretation of reality in order to amplify the Western interpretation of reality the future Western interpretation of reality while also demonizing and distra distracting and deflecting away from the non-Western interpretations of reality. So that's where people like Dolores Cannon and Terrence McKenna fit in to the whole storyline. I mean, and that includes other people too, channelers and all this other stuff. And like I said, when you're talking about the macro story, does it doesn't really matter. The, 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 the micro, like the individual, they don't even have to be aware of what's, be, what's going on in that experience. They just have to be doing what, what's uh, beneficial for the system because it will be utilized um, uh, for, for the larger picture. And that's the thing that a lot of these so-called teachers are not realizing the, the micro and the macro. They talk about it a lot, but since the, the, the macro, this is, this is why they don't really go into it because the macro has been romanticized into this plastic version of reality they just call love. Everything is love. We're all the same. Consciousness is everything. So when you have answers for a whole side of reality like that, then you don't, you know, you don't need any, you don't need to do anything else. They just say, oh, that's it. We're done. We're done thinking now. You know, since everything is love, love will save the day. You know, love wins. That's why they had the LGBTQ community out there to, to, to promote that new age love wins identity. So, yeah, that's how it all fits together. I'll go deeper into this.